Naga Miss Khobar, Morum United Football Club hai 8th morning Premier League 2024 laga champion hoi she. A2 pass Mohina Chuli ahia 35 saal upar laga players khan karu ne Morning Football Association, MFA para, Health and Friendship, team upar Indira Gandhi Stadium ko himate rakhi she. A2 ba dosta team, All Blacks, Eagle FC, Get Them Go. Kohima Police, Marhulietsa FC, Morning Football Club, Morum United, Mustang FC, Unity FC, Aru Vanguard FC, Old Boys Tournament, Te Bhag Loy She. MLA Alu NPF Legislature Party Leader Kuzholuzo Ninu Para Aji, 27th October, Te Closing Ceremony Laga Chief Guest Hisab Champion Trophy to Morum United Ke Dishe. 13 Assam Rifles Laga to IC Lieutenant Colonel Puneet Sharma Aru Miss Nagaland 2023 Laga First Run-Up Vimbha Sheki to Special Guest Thaki She Aru Tai Khan Individual Award Khan Bhak Kuri She. Unity FC Laga Ben to Golden Glove Hoi She. Eagle FC Laga Villa Golden Boot Pai She Aru Unity FC Laga Assezo to Player of the Season Hoi She. MPL 2024 Managing Committee Convener. Sentyangar Para Khiladi Aru Team Khan K Tournament to Bhal Para Khotom Hua Nimite Bhanyavad Dishe. Khobar Corner He A2 Anishe Aru Apuni Khan K Ami Khan Laga Channel to Subscribe, Like Aru Share Kuri Kena Hodai Jani Kena Tha Ki Bole Anurodh Kuri Ashe. Now, the English News. Morung United Football Club retained the coveted champion title of 8th Morning Premier League 2024. The five-month-long football tournament for players above 35 years of age organized by Morning Football Association, MFA on the theme Health and Friendship was played at Indira Gandhi Stadium, Kohima. Of the 10 teams in the championship, Morung United FC emerged table toppers to be champions for the second consecutive season. The teams for this year's edition were All Blacks, Eagle FC, Get Them Go, Kohima Police, Marhulietsa FC, Morning Football Club, Morung United, Mustang FC, Unity FC and Vanguard FC Old Boys. Gracing the occasion as the chief guest, MLA and NPF legislature party leader Kuzholuzo Ninu handed over the trophy to the champion team at the closing ceremony held today, the 27th October 2024. Special guests on the occasion to IC-13 Assam Rifles Lieutenant Colonel Puneet Sharma and Miss Nagaland 2023 first runner-up Vindha Sheki. The individual awards went Ben of Unity FC, Golden Glove, Villa of Eagle FC, Golden Boot and a Sezo of Unity FC, Player of the Season League. Convener MPL 2024 Managing Committee, Sentiangar thanked all the players for displaying team spirit, brotherhood, camaraderie and friendship. Khobar Corner brings the closing ceremony with a request to subscribe, like and share our channel to always remain informed. The morning Premier League 2024. The five month long league finally comes to an end today. And what a season we have had this, this year. You know, the title being decided on the very last match of the season. A big congratulations to the winner, Morning United, on winning your second consecutive title. And uh, very, very big congratulations to all the team as well, especially uh, Unity FC. They didn't make it any easier for Morning United and uh, they fought till the last day. But uh, this was not your, year, not your year as well. So we wish you the best in the next season. And uh, we are thrilled to share the remarkable success of the Morning Premier League 2024 season with you all. This initiative by the Morning Football Association aimed at giving a unique platform to the uh, not-so-young footballers and uh, with uh, the goal to promote health and friendship has been remarkable. We are privileged to have Sri Azoninu, Honorable MLA and leader of the NPF Legislative Party as the chief guest among us today. We thank you, sir, for taking time out from your busy schedule and to extend your support. Your esteemed presence has indeed glorified this gathering and added vibrancy to our humble event. Uh, I would like to request the convener of the Morning Premier League Managing Committee, Santiago, to present a small token of our gratitude to our chief guest. We are delighted to have with us our special guest for this evening, Lieutenant Colonel Puneet Sharma, second in command of the 13th Assam Rifles, and his uh, lady wife. 
and also Bhimga Shekhi, Miss Nagaland 2023, first runner-up, and Major Manohar of the 13th Assam Rifles. We are honored to have you here with us, and we would like to thank you for accepting our invitation and gracing us with your presence. I would again request our convener to kindly hand over a token of gratitude to our special guest as well. Now I would like to invite uh, the convener of the Morning Premier League 2024 Managing Committee, Santiago, to present the review of MPL 2024 season. I warmly welcome each and every one of you to the closing ceremony, the closing program of the MPL 2024. Many seasons have been played before this season. This is actually the ninth season. Today we are we have successfully completed the MPL season nine. And each and every year we have played under the same motto, health and friendship. And I believe my review, my what I see in uh, our league would perhaps be better encapsulated in a story, in a short story, a brief story. Years ago, when my good friend, Mr. Lobon Kupa, was still very much active and alive, MBO was played, and MCC was also played. So many players who were shown in the MBO, who played very well in the MPL came with the wise idea that we should perhaps we will also be successful if we play in major tournaments like the Classic Cup and the NSL Cup and you know there was huge support for that idea from all the teams so we decided okay let's form a team and then let's participate in the tournament and I was Fortunately or unfortunately, met the coach, the team manager of that MPL team. And then we got ourselves admitted in the classic tournament. I still remember my good friend, Ben Tangoy, he was the goalkeeper. He was like a, a Spider-Man in the morning Premier League. But when we played against those people, a long pass came from the defense of the opening team. So the sun cut in the eyes of Mr. Pell, our goalkeeper. <laughs> he blocked the sun with his, he tried to block the sun, the sun rays. And then, you know what, within a split second, the opponent's striker had already reached the key box and then taken away the ball from him and then the ball was already in the dead by the time, you know, he turned, his, he turned around. That was just the beginning. We were taken to the cleaners, we lost 5 or 6 nil. The message that I want to convey is that we are all past our pride. No matter how much one may think that uh, about yourself, you know, that you are performing very well, you are an excellent player, we have all passed our pride. And despite that, Despite that, this is the message that I want to convey. We still pretend as if we are, you know, sometimes competing in a major tournament or in a major league. And then poise will always be poise, you know. We complain too many times to the referee. We also try to introduce some new referees this year, you know, for those people to encourage being referees, you know, if they want to take up refereeing as a profession in future. But after two or three matches, they were also a little discouraged and some of them left saying that, you know, the, the players, they're complaining too much and then uh, like that. So I would request my 
good friends and my brothers to mellow down our urge to compete a little and then perhaps stick to our motto of health and friendship and try to make stronger the strong bond that we have already developed. And um, this year also, I believe, all the participants and all the teams we have benefited from the experience of participating in MPL. We have got to know so many new persons, new faces, and I encourage that the bond that we have developed this year will carry forward, it will endure, and we will make future MPL editions more successful. Thank you so much. I would now like to take this time to invite our chief guest, Sri Azoninu, Honorable MLA and leader of NPF Legislative Party to address the gathering. We thank God for this wonderful, beautiful evening. And I especially want to thank the organizers and the convener of the league for inviting me to be a part of this beautiful league tournament that has been taking place. It's a new adventure for me. I never knew such a league was happening for the past 50 days. It must be tiring, it must be interesting. And it's also so interesting to hear and learn that a group of intellects, club presidents, coming together to promote football in order to promote health and friendship. That is a very good gesture. I think we should continue in such a manner. And further, the government also should get involved to encourage such leaks. However, I will be failing on my part if I don't congratulate the Morang Club for winning the trophy for the second consecutive time. I wish I congratulate you, but while congratulating you, you should not forget you have won this league because of the other nine teams we have lost. Had they not taken part, there will be no winner. So we must also thank those persons who had come to play this friendly match with you so that the game became interesting and therefore it could come out with a winner. However, I know you're not playing this on professionalism, but I want to request all of you that we must encourage our youngsters, our nagas, as we see them, we are all second to none, be it sports, games, singing, in any field, we are second to none. We must encourage them to take this up professionally. We must go professional. And to do that, Nagas truly lack one ingredient, and that's consistency. To become a very good sportsman, to make it the most important asset one can ever have is consistency. We Nagas like that in every field. The time will come, sports time will come, we'll pay for one, two months, and we forget it. But you see, those who have gone professionalism, they play throughout their life. And that's how they make it to the limelight. They bring laurels to themselves. They stay in their country. And that's how they earn big also. So I think today, time has come for Nagas to take up sports discipline very seriously and adapt and inculcate the only item that is the consistency. Thank you, sir, for your encouragement and support. I would now like to request uh, Mr. Chiset, member of the MP of Community Managing Committee, to deliver the vote of thanks. But I want to thank few people and uh, also uh, 
uh, many people, in fact. I want to thank our chief guest, Honorable uh, Sri Azoni Nu, uh, MLA and MPF legislate, uh, MPF party leader. And I also want to thank our special guest, Lieutenant Colonel uh, Pranish Sharma, Patina Sam Rifles. And also special guest, uh, Vimga Shiki, Ms. Nagaland, uh, first runners up in the three. And also youth resource, sport, uh, youth resource and sports director and his team. And I would like to thank uh, our sister Lapla for special number as well. And also I want to thank uh, people taking care of uh, this ground, ground in charge basically. So we want to thank you uh, for your service as well. And also I want to thank media partners, uh, especially uh, Morong Express, Sun Mirror and Nagaland Page for covering up all our activities throughout the season. And also I want to thank Acoustic Wave for sponsoring our sound system. Whatever is happening here is because of them. So thank you so much Acoustic Wave under the leadership of uh, Martin. And I want to thank Imprint for all these creatives. Uh, the backdrop that you see behind me is from Imprint. Uh, Zebra and his team. And I want to thank match officials, all the match officials, paid officials as well as volunteered officials. Thank you so much for your service. Because of you, we could have these matches thus far. And also I want to thank uh, all the team leaders of 10 clubs uh, for your contribution, for your leadership, for your cooperation, for your uh, contribution and uh, whatnot. So many things have happened throughout the season, so we want to thank you for that as well. 10 leaders. Also contribution from all the teams. And I want to thank uh, our convener, good friend of mine, a brother of mine, Sidney Younger. See, it's, uh, it's very, very difficult to take care of 35 years and above people when you come to the ground and to manage throughout the season. It takes a lot of patience, a lot of, uh, I don't know, but he did it. So, Cindy and I, thank you so much for your leadership. Every year we change our convener, so thank you so much. You did very well. I was so proud of you. And lastly, but not the least, I want to say thank you, thank you to Get Them Go and All Blacks. So sorry that uh, you will have to be relegated for this season, and but this is not the end. But we thank you so much for your contributions, for your cooperation. You played very, very well, but hard luck that you can you can uh, do it this time. So thank you so much to both the teams. Thank you so much. Thank you, Chiset. Now before we move on to the prize distribution, I would like to invite Mr. Victor Pucho for the Thanksgiving, Thanksgiving prayer. Before I pray, a very common verse for all of us. But those who trust in the Lord will find new strength. They will soar high on wings like eagles. They will run and not grow weary. They will walk and not faint. We all are 35 above, some even reaching 60. But we are still young at heart. If we have God, if we put God first in all that we do, we will have strength and we will continue to enjoy this football and the things that we are doing. Let's look to God in prayer. Our Heavenly Father, we thank you so much for this beautiful evening that you have blessed us with. We thank you for this season of MPL 2024, where we are going to close this evening. We thank you for the people here. We thank you for our chief guests, our special guests, and the invitees and all the players here, Lord. We thank you for all this, for all that you have done in our lives and in this season and through this football be beautiful game of football we could come together and we could celebrate and enjoy our health and friendship in this manner we give all praise and glory back to you for you were there from the beginning from the opening of our season till now the closing of our season more than 200 players together oh lord thank you for bringing us together through this mpl lord we thank you for all our lives. We thank you for all the matches that we could play and enjoy and had a, have a good time, Lord. We thank you and we give all glory back to you. And as we close this evening, Lord, we pray that you will continue to help us, help this MPL to grow even in bigger ways in the next season and in the seasons to come, Lord. We pray that you will continue to bless our admins, that you will continue to give them wisdom and knowledge from above, so that even in the days to come, they will organize all these matches and all these beautiful games for us as well, even in the days to come. 
thank you for the people here. We thank you for the life of our chief guest, our MLA. We pray that you will bless him and his family. Help him so that he will continue to be a blessing to our people, to young people, to old people, to youths like us. Continue to use him to, a bless, to be a blessing to all of us, Lord. Thank you for our, our special guests. We pray that this MPL 2004. We pray, 24, Lord, we pray that you will continue to bless us so that we will have a wonderful evening through the dinner that you have prepared for us. Bless all those who have worked and those who have prepared this dinner for us as well and help us to have a wonderful fellowship over this dinner. We commit our life, we commit our families, we commit all the things that we will be doing from here on into your mighty hands until we come and play and meet again. Lord, I pray that you will keep us safe so that we will come and we will continue to build our health and our friendship even in the days to come. We give all praise and glory back to you. We pray and we thank you for all this in Jesus' name. Amen. I would now like to make a quick announcement to all the 10 teams. The management uh, regret to inform that this year's edition of the uh, late Lopen Kotba Memorial Champions Cup uh, remains cancelled. However, um, we will open uh, four slots for four new teams uh, to fill up the two slots uh, that, were, that remain vacant due to the relegation of the two teams this season. And uh, to do that, to select the two teams for next, year, next season, we will organize a playoff among the four teams and the two best teams will qualify for the next season of the MPL 2025. Now I will give, I give time to uh, our friend Lipok for the presentation. Thank you, Mo. Okay, um, it's getting dark, so we will move very quickly. We have come to the most important part of the evening, the closing program, the prize distribution. Before, uh, we have three individual prizes and the main trophy, which we can all see here. But before that, um, I want to uh, mention a few people. We always mention these people every year because uh, for someone like a, uh, me, a family man, to wake up early in the morning, come play, sacrifice everything in the morning, it's very difficult. But this year also, we have um, around six of them who has come and played every match every morning so we want to just uh, 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 give a special mention to the six of them first is from unity fc asezo from getum goal kuto from kohima police Ioto shohei and thomas from morong united teja and kuldo can you all give a big round of applause for the six of them yeah School day only though, 100% attendance, right? <laughs> okay, we will quickly go to the individual awards. We have three awards, the Golden Globe, the Golden Boot, and Player of the Season for this year. Um, and to give away these awards, I would like to invite our special guests, both uh, our Miss, Miss Venka and Alison Corner, Puneet Sharma. So, for the Golden Globe, there was just one clear winner. So with five clean sheets during this season, we have our winner, Mr. Ben from Unity FC. If you're here, if you can come. Okay, for the Golden Boot, we had actually four to five candidates. Um, and today was the deciding factor for the winner with 27 goals this season we have Mr. Villa from Eagle FC Villa if you are here you can come up Player of the season. Kun ho nishna. Any guess? 
with nine goals and 16 assists and with 100% attendance our player of the season for this year is from Unity FC Mr. Aceso Mr. Aceso is here yes. stand for some time again. We would like to now give away the medals for the champions, Murong United. After that, I would request our chief guest to come over and hand over the trophy. For, for the medals, I will just read out the names in no particular order. So if you are here, if you can come and receive the medals from our special guest. First, Nemezo, Piano. Virato Abel Virato Tamjan Wapang Martin Pele Moasanat Silvi Mokamzat Chedevi Cheveko Ako Meron Lamba Pirong Chupasanat Zeku Stephen Metol Hechang Krito Talisanat Kulto Enzan Masalabzat Tekrise, Moakam, Burakam, Vizoko, and the captain of the team, Lipok Jamir. Okay, sir, if you can kindly come and hand over the trophy to the captain. Captain Lipok, if you can. If the captain can receive the trophy from our chief guest. To win this MPL consecutively, yeah. I think this will be a record which will be very well, uh, Morong United. Uh, <laughs> and every one of you for being here today. Your support and participation in this event is really special. Thank you and good evening. The management has prepared 